Imagine yourself 40 years into the future as an old person sitting in your living room. You get thirsty or reach out for a glass of water, but you can't because your hands are shaky. You're so close yet so far. This is the reality of more than 10 million people today in the world living with Parkinson's. A number that's almost twice the population of Finland. And as you're watching this video right now, another person may be getting diagnosed. And for all these people, the Parkinson's disease was detected late, when most of the damage had already been done. And the late detection of Parkinson's, which is the only way right now to detect Parkinson's, hampers the effect of the medication and treatment. That is why we are employing a novel artificial and deep learning technique to unravel the biomarkers needed to resolve the devastating effect of Parkinson's using proteomics. Proteomics is the study of all the proteins in the human body, which can help us to understand the functions and modifications happening at a cellular level. At a molecular level, a single human gene can create thousands of versions of subtly different proteins. These are known as proteoforms and can provide information about the post-translational modifications and interactions which ultimately causes loss of dopamine producing cells. These could be used to identify the biomarkers which are essentially an indication of what is happening inside the human body. They can be found in blood, other body fluids, organs and tissues which would help us to identify early onset of Parkinson's disease. In order to achieve this goal, we are going to use novel deep learning algorithms. Using the proteomics dataset, we will process data and select important features using correlation techniques as well as proteomics pipeline. We will be augmenting data and converting it to image dataset. And then we'll train both datasets on deep learning algorithms to help us identify whether our patient shows early signs of Parkinson's disease or not. By combining the power of proteomics and AI, we can identify the biomarkers responsible for Parkinson's disease. By detecting Parkinson's early, we can treat it at its nascent stages and it will serve as a platform that will eventually lead to a cure. So join us as we walk towards this journey so that one day a simple act of lifting a glass won't become a challenge.